Hey, you doing here? Well, there's the old AS rock down there hiding, and I have the uh, SD card in there. I'll boot up. I kind of should have not had that light on, I think. Okay, well, it's getting. Did I get it turned off? Oh, I didn't do it right. There we go. Okay. So, um, booting up uh, to uh, UNET booting is what I use to build my um, point blank uh, BBA rescue 1280 by 1024. That'll probably be closer. Let me see if my, yeah, okay, so my. Um, My, uh, <clears throat> I went ahead and plugged in a PS2 keyboard too because I kept losing my um, connection when I would use my KVM switch down here. I used my KVM switch to go back to my other machines to go, you know, go back to work while scanning is going on or whatever. I uh, would lose my connection and I couldn't uh, control the machine anymore. So, uh, Went in and plugged in a PS2 keyboard to, as a backup because I can switch and I won't lose my connection to it. I may lose it to the USB keyboard, but not to my, uh, my, uh, this one here, the PS2 keyboard, the old Dell PS2. Oh, my other one, that lighter color one, that's my HP multimedia keyboard that I use on everything. It's USB. It's actually uh, old enough to be a USB 1.1, but I, it's, I, I have two of those because I like them so much, uh, Anyway, uh, <coughs> let's boot this thing. I selected, um, why well, didn't it do anything yet? I selected uh, 1280 by two, 1024. Try it on the other keyboard. Huh. Go to default then. Maybe I should leave it alone. Okay, now it didn't. There was something blinking at the bottom of the screen there. Yeah, it worked this time. Okay, now. I'm trying to hold my phone still and read at the same time. Base system, SDA1, NTFSC. Okay. Please press enter to activate this console. All right. Okay, that worked. I think it'll come up with the uh, little wizard here in a minute. Unless this can't run on this machine. Um, <clears throat> it's possible. Kepersky, Kapersky wouldn't run on this machine. I might have to go back and uh, try F-Secure or something. I'll have to rebuild my... That's the thing I like about multi-boots is you, know, you can just reboot and try the next one. But I could only put one on here with this. So... Um, just sitting there waiting for a command. It's not all showing up. I can't hold still. It's not all showing up. Um, get up a little closer, I guess. It's not all showing up, but I c the cursor is uh, just waiting for something. So, um, I think I'll hit. I'll type reboot. See what happens and try it again. Reboot. I don't know if it's going to do it. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Sometimes you have to... It'll say, you know, you need uh, super user root privileges and stuff like that. So let's let it reboot again and try selecting a different video mode and see if that'll make it run. The default might have been... <coughs> could have been anything. 1024 by 768 will run on most anything. Let's try that. It just blinks when you do that. View the keyboard. The other one, 1280 by 1024, is what I usually use in here. Hit default again. I got a feeling that it's not going to run on here. 
Okay, welcome to VBA Rescue. Base system, SDA, NTFSC. Please press enter to activate this console. Well, I think this is the default mode. Okay, I lost my USB keyboard. It's doing nothing. Now, I want to hit this one. Hit enter on the other key. Last time I just had my hand. It was the closest one to me. There we go. Now we're back into that console again. So, I think since sometimes, oh yeah, I think this is the machine that does that. If you hard shut down it, it won't read the, uh, is this the one? I think it's the one. Yeah, it is. If I hard shut down, it won't read my USB stick until it gets good and we're ready to again. So I'm going to type in shut down. Get down here where I can see the keyboard. think so. Shut down not not found. Mm. Let's try exit. That didn't do me any good. No, it's not two word. Is it? Okay, reboot, shut down. Sometimes you have to say shut down now. Some of them you have to put now at the end. They don't tell me. Okay, um... I'm just worried about it not booting back into my stick again. Of course, I'm going to have to reformat the whole thing anyway, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. I mean, well, it does matter if it gets to the thing where it won't recognize my... It might have been, should have been something I did with Sardu. I guess I'm fixing to find out if it was all just to do with Sardu or was this particular adapter. Okay, it did the four second delays. It wasn't locked up. I guess the thing is, is when it gets locked up, it gives me the problem. See, it's a little USB adapter with an SD card in it. And it works really well on all my other systems. There's only one, and the, the reason I, and normally, if you know, if it gets to where it doesn't want to recognize it, then I just uh, go into BIOS and manually tell it to boot to it. But uh, this one, this. AS Rocks BIOS doesn't have a manual setting. You, it's automatic and for that. And uh, when it can't see it, it can't see it until it gets darn good and ready again. I tried unplugging the machine and messing with everything I could think of. I put it, I put my USB sticks in there, one of those, and uh, booted to uh, them and tried to use Plot Boot Manager to get to it. I couldn't make that work either. So, but I'm going to have to go. Uh, VBA Rescue won't run on this AS Rock motherboard, so uh, I'm gonna have to um, go try. I guess I already have F Secure downloaded. I'll try it because it has a window. Whoops! I dropped in the floor. Windows 7 system that uh, the Windows 7 system that will um, it's infected, and I need. I'm still trying to clean it up. All right. 